Awesome. So I um, wanted to uh, thank you for being here tonight and telling us a little bit about Coastal um, and all the services that you provide. Before you know, I get into it, just for those that haven't seen uh, the show yet, I just want to tell them a little bit of what I've been doing here for the, the last four and a half months. Um, you know, since uh, the pandemic started, I, I, I was thinking of different ways that I can help our community here in Southwest Florida. Um, and having a big following on Instagram, I thought that, you know, the way that I could do is do these live videos uh, with local business owners, uh, managers, uh, you know, and um, allow them to kind of showcase their services, their products, and, you know, tell people a little bit about themselves with the hopes that, you know, it would help their business, right? So um, it has taken off. I've done over 100 of them. As you can see in the back here, we celebrated 100 of them uh, just nice. this week. So it's a, a lot of time. Uh, but, you know, it's very rewarding to, to be able to help other people and also, you know, to know uh, so much about our community, right? So it's, uh, it, it's very um, interesting. And so, you know, wanted to thank you again for being here tonight. And then, you know, before we get into Coastal, wanted to see if you could um, introduce yourself a little bit. Tell us about, you know, who Rob is, uh, where is he from, if not locally, uh, where did he come from, and, you know, how did he end up down here? Right, yeah. Um, <clears throat> thanks for having me on. Appreciate what you're doing. And uh, the, you know, taking time out to do this for businesses, that's awesome. Um, you know, so I uh, appreciate all that. Um, my name is Rob Stalvey. I'm from Melbourne, Florida on the East Coast, <clears throat> just east of Orlando. Moved here in, in Fort Myers uh, in 2001 and um, for to go to college at Edison uh, community college at the time, uh, <clears throat> started working, you know, local jobs and dead end jobs just to get through school and stuff. Um, but my family all relocated over here after I, I finished high school. Um, my dad retired from his current job and <clears throat> my sister, everybody moved over here um, because my grandfather and my grandparents and my uncle, the rest of my family was already here. So we kind of packed up, hauled over here, and, and actually, I, I when I was born in Melbourne, my family moved me here originally when I was a you know infant up until kindergarten, <laughs> and then moved us back over to the East Coast, and then back here in 2001, um, and then from there, we started uh, coastal uh, irrigation, and my father and I, um, he bought that company out from my uncle at the time a uh, very small outfit uh and then i was probably the third guy out in the field at the time back in 2002 uh and then from there you know just kind of uh did irrigation for a while then we got into uh plumbing a little bit and uh, 18 years later I started Coastal Lawn and Pest on my own um, and branched off. <clears throat> Still, I'm um, the president of both companies now, but so we, we've, we've kind of expanded and, and uh, that was, you know, back in sorry, 2018 when we did that. So Coastal Lawn and Pest is a rather new company, uh, but our parent company is just about 20 years now. Awesome. And, you know, what was, the, uh, you know, when you, you kind of venture out on your own in, in 2018, you know, what, what, what was the idea behind it? What did you want to do and what did you want to bring to the community that maybe, you know, you had seen that there was a need for or think, you know, what did you want to do differently than in some of the companies that are here? Because I'm assuming there's a, a, a lot of competition around here, right? There, there's right. a lot of companies. Right. Uh, but, you know, I'm trying to think, you know, trying to get out of you. What was it that you had in mind that you wanted to do differently? <clears throat> well, you know, doing irrigation for 18 years, <clears throat> sorry, uh, not really bored, but just kind of, you know, it's, it's, it was a long time and, uh, 
we started doing some other stuff with mosquito control and mosquito misting systems. And we started venturing into that and had to get our state pest control license. Um, and I had an uncle that was in the pest control business that uh, we never wanted to really compete with because uh, we are family. So that was, he got out, sold and moved and everything. And um, we had been heavily entrenched in the mosquito control side. And that, w that was really to fill our summertime because every summer it rained so much and irrigation service would slow down. So it was hard to balance having to keep all the crews busy during like June through September. So we started doing that mosquito control and then that opened up to getting our pest control license, which after we did that, the investment for that was, you know, pretty significant. So we said, we might as well do it all. Um, that was part of the reason that kind of pushed us into it. Uh, second, I was, I was a little bored and wanted to, uh, you know, grow something else and, you know, from being in the industry, you know, the green industry, you know, lawn care and all that stuff, um, always working alongside the pest control guys and, you know, fertilizer guys and stuff <clears throat> and working hand in hand with them and seeing over the years, all the things that they were doing right. Or, you know, a lot of companies do it great. And there was a lot of companies that weren't doing it great. And, um, a lot of customers kept asking me and I was referring clients out all the time. So, uh, that kind of, crashed in with the mosquito missing and we just jumped in so <clears throat> and uh we're about two and a half years into it a little bit more than two years um so we're you know we're, we're growing pretty rapidly you know this coronavirus thing has slowed down a little bit but <clears throat> just another hiccup so yeah yeah and, I, and, and i'll get to that question uh soon but uh before i wanted to see if you can kind of uh, go over all the services that you provide. You know, obviously, when we talk lawn and pest, there, there's there's a lot of different things that you could be doing. So uh, for those watching that may not know, uh, if you could kind of go through the list of services that you provide. Um, well, for the, for the lawn and pest, mainly it's, you know, mosquito control, and that's through uh, misting or, or fogging, perimeter spraying. Um, <clears throat> we do lawn. Uh, fertilization, disease control, uh, shrub care, which is fertilization, disease control, uh, pest control for the outside. Uh, we do palm tree care. Uh, and then general household pest, uh, doing indoor and perimeter treatments, uh, rodent control um, and rodent exclusions, all that business. And then, <clears throat> um, and then we have the irrigation side, which we were keeping it separate at first and then now we're finding that a lot of people just want one cus one uh you know company to do it all so we've been <clears throat> doing maintenance services under the coastal lawn and pest for irrigation also awesome and you know i i am not originally from florida you know I, I i grew up in in the boston area and then moved here four years ago um you know one of the things that uh, a lot of people that I know are not from here are not used to, for example, is like cockroaches, right? Uh, right? It's something that we don't have up north. I mean, I've, I've, I grew up in Brazil and we have them in Brazil, but then I, I moved to Boston at such a young age. I, I didn't see them until I moved down here, um, <laughs> you, you know, and then some people are petrified of them. And, you know, um, is that something you, when you're talking about rodents and you're talking about that stuff, that's something that you would treat for as well? Yeah. Yeah. Any insect uh, roaches, <clears throat> they're, they're probably the, the scariest one of them all that people complain about, you know, they, they see them and they're just disturbed by them a lot. Uh, that and um, spiders, fleas, ticks, all that business. Um, pretty much anything pest related, we, we're licensed to, to treat and take care of. And we have the different divisions. Uh, we have a, a crew that focuses mainly on indoor pests, which is, you know, cockroaches, spiders, all that. And then we have crews that focus on the lawn care side. Um, so we do have, and then, you know, our operator, he's, he's uh, well versed in both of them. So, 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 you know, in the types of, when you you talk about, you, you mentioned a little bit like about foggers and things like that. So for example, if I were to call you to my house and said, okay, I have a lot of, I don't know, spiders in my lanai, right. Uh, 
uh, th there's different, you would look at the situation and say, okay, well, this is better with a fog or this is the treatment for this will be this. Uh, similarly, you know, indoors, um, if I tell you there's, you know, I, I have cockroaches in my house. I mean, uh, do you do you have different treatments that you suggest depending <laughs> on the situation? Yeah, um, the fogger mainly is for the mosquitoes and no seams. It's, it's using some uh, products that we kind of crop dust the property and all the plants with and um, it's targeted just to those. Uh, and then, yeah, if you called us out for indoor pest services, we would evaluate the home, do an inside inspection, try to find if you had ants. Uh, you know, ants in the kitchen is a big problem. Um, you know, spiders in the pool cages, that would all be covered under the general household pest and, <clears throat> and, as, and also rodents. Um, those are kind of the, the thing that everybody doesn't really believe or want to believe that exists on their property, but <clears throat> living in Florida, whether you're on a canal or not, they're, they're pretty popular and, and people are always in denial that they, they have such things on their property because it makes them feel, I guess, a little embarrassed, but everybody has them. Um, and it, yeah. it's whether they're nesting in your house or not. So there's a lot of preventative things that we do in that department. Um, so, and, and then, then we have the lawn side, you know, same thing. We're treating for insects that are <clears throat> turf damaging, you know, not really harmful to humans or anything. They just make grass look bad. But yep. at the same time, <clears throat> those treatments will also kill any cockroaches or spiders or fleas that can make their way inside. So having both of them is, is the best way to defend against having insects in the house. <clears throat> awesome. And then uh, what's, what area do you service uh, here in Southwest Florida? We cover from South Naples, just about Marco Island, all the way up to Punta Gorda. <clears throat> okay. So you're, you're truly a, a Southwest Florida business all, all over the place. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And we, we have, uh, most of our pest crews are based out of Fort Myers and our irrigation crews are spread out because they all work from, uh, dispatch straight from home <clears throat> but due to the regulations our pest control crews our indoor crews dispatch from home but our lawn crews have to dispatch from the headquarters so um but we do our office is located right off 75 and uh, colonial so we're allowed you know we it helps us cover the three counties pretty efficiently awesome um, you, you know, you started talking a little bit and I said I would ask you again, you know, a, a lot of the people that, that come here in the show, I've asked them about COVID-19 and how it has affected them, um, not only business-wise, you know, if it kind of slowed down or, you know, for some businesses it picked up, um, but, you know, what are some of the measures also that you guys have to take? Obviously, you know, you're going into people's houses, uh, you, you know, to assess the situation. Um, you had to take perhaps some different measures and what, what are some of those measures as well? Well, um, at first, just like every, you know, a lot of companies, we didn't know what to expect. We thought it was going to be a, you know, a large slowdown and end up being the opposite for all of our irrigation crews. Um, the pest control side, it, you know, we were considered essential because we're controlling, you know, uh, insects that are, that carry diseases and, you know, rodents that can transmit diseases and stuff. So, uh, we stayed busy through all of it, but it kind of forced us to uh, work remotely a little bit. Some of the techs working from their houses instead of coming to the office, we had to eliminate meetings and do everything through virtual. So it, it kind of pushed us and spread us out, but that actually helped um, as far as providing better service. So we're actually going to keep it that way and uh, operate the same way, but it didn't really have a huge toll on us to slow down like we anticipated um you know we lost a little bit of the the mosquito control which is more of a uh, luxury you know uh, thing to have you know with the misting systems um that slowed down a little bit but uh, everything stayed pretty much on track uh so we were kind of you know grateful for that and um very thankful that you know it didn't hit us like it did some of the other industries awesome and, you know, if people want to know a little bit more about you guys and, you know, uh, take a look at some of the services or, you know, recommendations or, or things, you know, where they can find more information on your website, social media handle, 
uh, or if you know they want to get a pricing, is there a phone number they can call and talk to someone? Yeah, we have um, we have our social media, you know, Instagram, Facebook, um, our websites. We have coastallawnandpest.com or coastallawnpest.com. Um, if they also, you know, our office number, you know, they can call in on uh, 230-7020. Um, and then from there, we can send somebody out to meet with them and, you know, provide more information. We do free estimates. So uh, our second opinions, evaluations, whatever you want to call them, um, we're, we, you know, we try to educate the customers as much as we can so that they're making, you know, good decisions, whether they choose us or not. So, um, yeah, I mean, Visit us on those those platforms, or call us direct. However, it works for you, or text us. Uh, we we have everything available. Email uh, Coastal Lawn Pest. Uh, you can email me, Rob at CoastalLawnPest.com, um, and then I can help you from there. Awesome. And you know, I I, I normally on the the last uh, question here, I, I kind of leave a, a open uh, canvas for for my guests to leave a message. But before I, I let you do that. Um, I wanted to ask, you know, is there any uh, tips or, or anything that you would, could give people right now? I mean, you know, if both people that perhaps don't have a problem yet or have a problem, but they're kind of, like you said, embarrassed to admit that they have a problem. Um, you know, is there something that you can tell them to kind of, you know, perhaps fix the problem before it becomes a bigger problem? You know, any tips that you can give for, for people watching? Yeah, the biggest thing with pest control is uh, just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're there. And once you do start seeing them, even if they're limited, problems are already larger than what you're seeing. Um, you know, my biggest, you know, advice would be, you know, have pest control. It's, it's you know, these bugs, you know, cockroaches and mosquitoes, no seams, all that stuff, spiders, they carry a lot of diseases that are transmitted and, you know, uh, especially mosquitoes. So, um, preventative measures, you know, it's it's about preventing infestations because once you see three or four roaches running around in the house, you probably have uh, plenty more hiding out in the attic and, and uh, rodents, stuff like that. You know, so get it checked out. Have have a program, even if it's minimal, uh, to keep, you know, to, to control the insects to, you know, because we have to live amongst them. There's no eliminating them 100%, but... Um, I guess my, that would be my, my advice is that don't ignore it just because you don't see anything. Yep. Awesome. Well, and then, you know, I, I, uh, I'll, I'll give you the mic here and let you kind of uh, leave a message for, you know, either your current customers, uh, past customers, future customers, you know, the <laughs> mic is yours, whatever you want to tell people. Yeah. Right, and thank you. Um, and once again, I appreciate you having me on here and, and for everybody else, you know, if you're looking for a company that, is a one-stop shop. We can handle that small, large, um, you know, we're, we're hands-on owner operated. Uh, we have several families that work within the business. So we're local um, and, and I'm a strong believer in supporting local and uh, just give us a shot. You know, we've been in the industry for irrigation for almost 20 years now and pest control. We're about two and a half, but, uh, we have people on staff that have been doing it for, you know, 15 plus years. So um, give us a chance. We'll open your eyes to some things that a lot of companies are missing. Awesome. Let me just see, because I think I have one question here. I want to make sure I get the the question. Uh, they're just saying hi. That's all. Yeah. All right. Awesome. All right. Well, Rob, <laughs> uh, once again, I wanted to uh, uh, take the time and, you know, uh, I want to thank you for taking the time and, uh, talking to me tonight here. Yeah, I really appreciate it. You know, thanks for, for the tips on, uh, you know, how to, how to kind of protect yourself too. And then, you know, I invite everybody that if you are having a problem, if you think you have a problem, at least, you know, give you guys a call and, and, and have you come out and, you know, be sure if there is a problem or not, right? That's right. Better, than, better than not knowing for sure if there is a problem. So I uh, appreciate it again, your time. And uh, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks a lot, Felipe. Appreciate right. it. Have a good night. You too.